In this video, I'll show you how to assign a permission to a model driven app so that an end user can access your model driven app. Now, there is an important concept uh, while assigning permissions to the model driven app. So as you see over here, I've just taken a simple example of a model driven app. Now, in this example, uh, there is a model driven app which is pointing to one of the tables so it's named as minerals okay so now we have a permission to be granted to the tables permission to be granted to this entire model driven app and then the end user will be able to see the application now to first start with now as you see over here this is a minerals app so this is a simple list whereby user can go ahead and uh, click on new and then add a new record or a user can view the record in the list or maybe a user can go ahead and open the record and they can edit some values over here right and then they can save the record uh, there is also an option where the user can go ahead and delete the record so user can come and then delete the record uh, so these are the various privileges which can be granted to the user now, as you see over here, this table has some sort of a CRUD operations like create, read, update, delete operations should be performed. Uh, and at the same time, there are other actions like if you see over here, so there is an export to Excel, you can generate a report, you can make use of word template, you can execute a power automate flow, you can assign, you can share. So all these privileges are uh, to be assigned to a user if you want to uh, the user to perform some actions on that particular record now two things one is at a table level and second is at an app level so let's do one thing let's share this entire model driven app with a user named as alex so so this is a uh, minerals application so i'll just copy the url so this is one way to uh, check whether the user has access or not. So I have logged in as Alex. So as you see over here, so I have logged in as Alex Wilbur. Uh, this is a user uh, who's going to access this application. So I've just typed in the URL, okay? The moment I type in the URL, it says you do not have permission to access this record. Contact your admin for help. Now, this is one way to share the application, just copying the URL. Second way is you go into make.powerapps.com and then navigate to a specific application so this is a model driven app so you can come here and then you can just say share you click on share and then from here you can specify which people can access the application now here you need to explicitly specify so if i just type in alex then i need to select alex and then specify what kind of security role needs to be assigned to that specific user so that the user can access the application now i'm not going to do from here because this will be like an, an automatic way of assigning the permission uh, which you should do but then i'm just explaining you the concept how it works so first thing in order for a user to access the model driven application the user needs to have access to the underlying table okay so the underlying table should uh, the user should have access to so the underlying table is named as mineral so if i go into the back end and just type in minerals so this is the table this is the table which the user first needs to have access to so in order to do that what we can do is we can create one custom security role okay so i'm in environment so i've gone into power platform admin center from power platform admin center i've gone to the specific environment and then from there i've gone into the security roles and then from here there are like a lot of inbuilt security role but then this time what i'm going to do i'll click on new role and then i will name this as mineral table exclusive role business unit i'm going to keep the default business unit and this time i'm just gonna untick this so we are going to come back to this include app opener privileges okay now mineral table exclusive role so i'll just click on save now here what we are doing is we are assigning a permission uh, from a table perspective now there are a lot of things happening over here what you can do is uh, you need to look into the custom tables okay 
now there are so many tables listed over here what we can do we can search the table which we want which is a minerals table so i'll select the minerals table and then depending on my need either i can give the user a user level right for creation or a parent child business unit or an organization or a business unit level for time being i'm going to give them create read and write organization level i'm not going to give delete append append to assign and share okay so the user will have creation read and write rights for that specific table if the user belongs to the mineral table exclusive role so once you're done with the changes just click on save and once you save it just go back to the security role which you have created so i've created a security role named as mineral table exclusive role from here navigate to members and then from here just add people and you add alex to it I'll click on add now alex is added to the security role which has table level privileges okay now again going back to alex let's refresh this so it might take some time for this permission to be uh, affected but once that is done uh, alex should be able to access the records so we'll just do a refresh And now, as you see over here, Alex can see the table records. So what we have done, we have created a security role with an exclusive access to the table and Alex can see the record. Now, the difference between the view is I don't see the left menu. I don't see the top bar. So I don't see that model driven app, but then I can see that the user can access the table level record, right? So just to show you, over here like see how the left menu is shown for uh, a user uh, see how the top bar is shown with the model driven app and then there are like some uh, options over here now this is not uh, available uh, so we do not have a model driven app navigator we do not have a left menu over here now from where all these things come in so we need to understand more from a uh, permission perspective now there is a an, another security role which is available named as app opener security role now app opener role has basically a minimum privileges for common task app opener security role is used as a template to basically create custom security role now as you might have observed that when we created that custom security role it had an option to select app opener as a security privilege added to the custom security role which you are creating now i have explicitly turned that off just to explain you what is the role of that so it does not have any privileges to the core business table it has access to the organization level read access to all the system tables and it has access to the back end system level workflows now it is the it is used for out of the box entities only um, it can run app in the environment it can perform various tasks on the own records it has access to core business tables uh, uh, earlier this role was known as common data service user security role now that's about app opener role now how do we utilize that so two options one is you have already created a security role right now what we are going to do we are going to we have two options one is we cannot edit the security role which we have created so this is the mineral table exclusive role now we cannot add app opener role on top of it because at the start we had an option to create that app opener role now the second option what we can do we can assign the user an app opener privilege so if you go to setting security role and if you navigate to app opener security role from here as you see over here these are like various uh, options like various privileges which are given to a user belonging to the app opener role so it includes business management business process flow core records customization but you cannot see any custom table listed over here so one option for us in order for that left menu to appear we can click on members add people and then we can add alex's name over here click on add navigate to alex and let's refresh this and when you refresh this you can see that the left menu now appears for alex so 
all this permission set for this left menu and the model driven app navigator and the search everything comes from that app opener role now this is one option okay so we have splitted the security role in such a way that we have created a custom security role which does not have an any interface with the app opener role and we have granted separately alex the permission for the app opener security role second option for us what we can do is like we can remove alex from the security role and at the same time i'll go to the mineral table exclusive security role i'll go to the members i'll just remove alex now we are again back to square one okay so when alex accesses this application the alex should not be able to view the records anything right so let me just do a refresh so as you see over here alex cannot view the record and alex does not even have permission to access the record now it depends on your project now either you can grant separately the user to the app opener rule and the custom table or maybe again coming back over here we add a new role called as mineral full role give the business unit and then from here you can include the app opener privilege for running model driven app now if you want to separate out like what we did in the first session whereby we have separated out the custom security role with the app opener privilege you can do that or if you it's just one app within your environment you can make use of this include app opener privileges for running model driven app and you can grant the user access right now if we just separate this out the benefit of that approach is your custom security role will be clean it will not include all the bells and whistle which is required for opening the app it does not it will not have any privileges for running the model driven app so that will be easy but if you want to just provide a quick access to the user you can make use of include app opener privileges and then once you are done with it you just click on save now this is like a combo approach whereby you can have an app opener privileges as well as you will have the custom security role now remember app opener privileges is already part of it so we need to just grant mineral stable uh, a create read an organization level right and i'll click on save over here once you're done with it go back to alex try to refresh the page it might take some time uh, for the changes to be affected uh, if it doesn't then just do an f12 just do a right click empty cache and hard refresh and once that is done alex should be able to view the records So wait for like three or four minutes and then you should be able to uh, view the record so i'll just do a quick refresh and see now as you see over here alex is not able to view the record now why because if you go to security roles and the role which we have just created mineral table exclusive let me check mineral table mineral full role yeah and if you go to the members we didn't add alex to it and that's why alex was not able to view so the one step we should invest is add user to that specific role so in this video what we have seen is that uh, in order to weave an application you need to have at least two sort of security roles. one is for the table and second is for opening this entire application with the left menu and the app selector now we can separate out both the roles. So uh, if you navigate to the Power Platform Admin Center security role, there is a role called as App Opener. Now, one option with us is to make a copy of this App Opener role so that you don't tamper uh, by assigning App Opener privileges to the members. That is one option. Or and another option is to basically uh, grant the security role in the App Opener security role for the user. Uh, for which you want to give a permission and then you can create a custom security role based on the table so from a table perspective we have created a separate security role called as mineral uh, full role now in this mineral full role we have granted uh, the custom table permissions for the mineral table uh, for which we want the user to access the records so there are multiple ways through which you can uh, define your security roles but uh, important thing is that once the uh, uh, the application goes into the production environment you need to uh, 
make sure that the custom security role which you have created is like you understand fully what does that se custom security role fully means now uh, we have created this mineral table exclusive role now this is a clean security role so if you see over here in this mineral table exclusive role here you can see show only the assigned table so as you see over here you can see the minerals table over here that is a custom table and then there are five diff different customization uh, security privileges you can see over here now compared to uh, the other security role which we have created which includes the app privileges which is a mineral full role now here you will see more table permissions like business management business process flow core records custom tables and 27 customization so if you want to separate out the app opener privileges and the table level privileges then you can go ahead and create a separate security role so that's it folks this is all about structuring your security rules within the model driven app thanks for watching